All right, hello everybody out there. Welcome to the first segment of Airbus 320 Tech Talk. What do all those buttons do? Uh, I kind of mentioned a little bit in the first video there about my motivations for wanting to do this little video series here. Um, we have people up in the flight deck all the time uh, that just want to come up and take a look. And we, we love having visitors up there. I always think it's cool to show people a little bit more about our working environment up in the front of the airplane there. But um, I've noticed there's one common question, like I said before, that always seems to come up. Everybody, you know, comes, takes a look, and, and they always have this, like, overwhelmed look in their eyes. And they, they look around and say, geez, what do all these buttons do? How do you possibly remember what each and every one of these things does? And, you know, they, they just, uh, their eyes kind of gloss over. And my response to everybody that I, I have the same type of conversation with is that, hey, you know, I know it looks really complicated up here, but... Um, everything you know can be broken down and and uh, you can certainly understand this stuff if you had some time to study it or, or uh, gather a little more information it's this is not anything that anybody couldn't get their their mind wrapped around and um, like I said it's it's not as complicated as it, as it might um, first look to you when you step up there so I kind of wanted to make some videos to just systematically step by step go through each and every one of the buttons that's up in the flight deck there as much as possible and just kind of give you a little bit of detail about what it is and what it does. And I kind of figured that with each one of the segments, I'll, I'll try to throw some kind of surface level conceptual things at you. But if you are the type of person out there that's watching and, and you really like the uh, little more detailed technical type of knowledge, I'm going to try to weave some of that stuff in there as well. And Hopefully you enjoy uh, what, uh, what we're going to talk about and hopefully you learn a few things. And there's a lot of just really cool stuff about the Airbus to, to tell you. Um, and I love flying the airplane. It's, it's been a lot of fun to learn. It's, it's easy to fly. It's a total joy to fly. Um, I've only been on it for about a year, so I'm by no means, you know, the end all be all source for information on this aircraft. But you know, I, I can tell you some neat stuff about it. And... By all means, uh, as we go through and make these videos, um, I am not perfect. You know, there may be um, some instances here and there where, where uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe I tell you something that uh, isn't quite 100% uh, accurate. Um, although I'm going to do my best to try to uh, nail everything spot on from the first time around. But if you do notice something, feel free to send me a PM, and I'd, I'd love to get it corrected. And um, this machine is just it's infinitely complex i mean you could dig so deep and get so far under the hood of this thing that um you know it's, it's just no nobody i don't think any one person uh, that's ever touched this thing or worked on it is like i said like a uh, an end-all be-all resource just because it's, it's so complicated and complex as i said but um i'm gonna do my best like i said the pulling from knowledge that i have pulling from some technical publications that i have access to and trying to package it up in an orderly fashion and give you a little bit of detail about the airplane. So um, let's dive in. And for the first segment here, I figure I'd kind of give you a little bit of orientation around the flight deck and just kind of uh, talk to you a little bit about um, you know how it's laid out. Um, when you first uh, come into the flight deck, you obviously enter through the cockpit door. It opens inward. And kind of the layout here in general uh, most of you probably know that the captain's seat will always be on the left. The first officer seat will be on the right. Um, the main instrument panel is uh, just you know right right in front of you here. Um, this is known as the center pedestal. It's kind of the, the control area that uh, sits between the both of us. Um, we have side sticks on this aircraft, um, one on each side for each of the pilots. Um, there's a lot of storage, actually. The Airbus is really um, good about... Um, just having a lot of these little kind of cubby holes around that you can you can put manuals in and, and various things that we need to access throughout the course of the flight. Um, also, there's there's these um, observer seats. Um, there's one here and there's one here that um, you, you might have heard these referred to before as a jump seat. And these are seats that will be occupied um, by, uh, just as the name implies, a, an observer. So this could be, you know, an FAA person that's coming along to give you a check ride. This could be a company individual that's, you know, giving you a, uh, a line check or something like that. Uh, but a lot of it, a lot of times these seats are actually occupied by other pilots that are just trying to get to work. So, you know, if the rear of the aircraft fills up for whatever reason, um, they can actually sit up here with us and um, catch a ride to wherever they need to go. So um, the... The third occupant seat, uh, as it's called right here, this one actually, it, it kind of folds down and it slides like into the middle of the aisle way so that when it's kind of set up, 
um, the observer is sitting like right um, in the center line, so to speak, of the flight deck, and uh, they, they have a pretty good vantage point of everything that's going on. Um, the other one on the other side, uh, it's not quite as big, so it's not nearly as comfortable, um, but it doesn't slide out in the same fashion. And um, it's, uh, yeah, just a little bit different design. So um, the other thing that you'll notice uh, when you go up in the flight deck of an Airbus um, and comparing it to the comparable Boeing product, you know, you have two, you know, narrow body aircraft that, that pretty much are, are filling the same marketplace. Um, and uh, they uh, basically what I was going to say is that the, the Airbus cockpit, by contrast to the Boeing cockpit, is actually quite roomy. So, you know, if, if you've had a chance to get up in front of both of them, uh, think about that when you're up there. You, know, you stand up inside the Airbus cockpit, and there's there's just playing out a lot of room. Uh, the Boeing cockpit is a little bit more um, tighter together. The pilots sit closer together. Um, the paneling is is uh, it's just physically like kind of compacted into a little bit smaller space. So it's just one contrast. I'm not saying <laughs> any one design is better than the other, um, but uh, the Airbus cockpit is known for being really roomy and uh, pretty comfortable for pilots to sit up in for. Um, a long period of time so uh, that's kind of a top-down view uh, like I said of the cockpit um, if you were standing in the um, you know the little entryway here and you turn to the left uh, let's see the next slide here uh, pull it up here Uh, this is what you would see uh, on the other side. This is kind of uh, looking once again uh, to the, the aft um, of the flight deck area. Um, just uh, there's a little coat closet here. Um, there is a, uh, some, some various like pieces of uh, safety equipment. We won't go over all of them. Uh, you can kind of see here what I was talking about, the, uh, the observer seat here. This is just uh, showing it uh, folded up into the wall kind of thing there. And uh, if you turn to your right, uh, you would see uh, something that looks like this. And uh, one thing to take note of here, there's a whole other circuit breaker panel that uh, sits behind the, uh, the first officer's position here. This is, once again, that, that jump seat or observer seat that we talked about that would fold out and slide over. And uh, just a whole, uh, whole bunch of other pieces of, uh, like I said, equipment. Um, a lot of it's kind of emergency stuff. It just resides uh, in its little storage spot. And, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff, I mean, you, you, you basically, you, you check it when you get in the aircraft for the first time just to make sure that it's there. But you're never really taking out, you know, a lot of these things uh, in your day-to-day -day operation of the plane. And then um, the uh, last uh, picture we'll show you here is kind of the, the depiction of the overhead uh, in the aircraft. So um, when you climb in, um, if you look straight up, um, there's really kind of two two breakdowns of this overhead panel area here. There's the, the top portion, excuse me, it's got a bunch of circuit breakers on it and uh, some maintenance functions, um, or maintenance buttons rather, or panels. And there's kind of the, the, the bottom um, panel here, and uh, that has a lot of the uh, the switches for a lot of the aircraft systems that we're, we are manipulating, you know, every flight leg and, and what have you. So. Um, the interesting thing too, once again, I was talking a little bit about the size uh, of the cockpit. It's such that um, it's so big actually that if for either pilot sitting in um, their respective um, seat position there, um, you can reach all the buttons on uh, the uh, forward portion of the overhead panel here, but the, the portion up top, um, you'd actually have to get up out of your seat to you know, operate the circuit breakers or, or work some of the, uh, the buttons up there. And uh, that's you know, designed that way, it's not a big deal because most of the time uh, in any given flight, you're not really up here doing a lot of things for, for any reason unless, um, you know, there's something that need addressing. So um, we're going to kind of start, like I said, in a systematic fashion, we'll start um, up at the very top uh, of that uh, circuit breaker panel there. And uh, like I said, we're going to break it down one by one, and uh, I'll give you a, a little bit of information on uh, each of the, uh, the the buttons in there. So. Um, thanks again for joining me, everybody. I hope you find this insightful. And uh, if you like what you see uh, down below, uh, maybe subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks.